Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 hello everyone. Hello YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Today we are talking Carlos King and whether or not he is exposing allegedly Love and Marriage Huntsville's Letitia and Marceau Scott. Some people have deduced in his recent video of basically reacting to Robin Dixon's appearance on Watch What Happens Live on Bravo, basically spilling Bravo tea that a lot of these husbands are getting paid you know to be even though they're not getting paid like an actual salary from bravo that the wives are basically giving them 10 percent of their paycheck so that they can film scenes on the show and not feel like they're being quote unquote taken advantage of or filming for free and not getting any benefits out of it and so some of these people are agreeing to you know receive some type of stipend some type of amount out of these housewives checks to play somebody's boyfriend to play somebody's husband and everything else which is kind of what the mistress slash girlfriend of Juan Dixon alluded to and that a lot of these couples are in some sort of arrangement are in some sort of an open marriage or open relationship or what have you and that they do this because they are desperate to stay on these reality shows they do not want to lose their jobs and everything else so I don't know Carlos King's beef right now with Bravo as to why he is just letting have and just letting all of the, you know, beans be spilled and everything else that's going on. But, you know, some people have deduced from this that, oh, maybe he's also talking about, you know, Letitia and Marcia. So because people would be, quote unquote, shocked at the number of couples that are in open marriages and you know the people who are also getting paid you know to pretend to still you know be an active husband or be an active boyfriend um, during the filming months of a show only for you know them to go back to whatever real relationship they're in with somebody else while the show is actually airing you guys and people are like well maybe you know Marceau and Tisha are in an open marriage or whatever else and and, and here's the thing I mean whether they are or whether they are not, it's really irrelevant to me at this point. Uh, what I do not understand at this point is if, in fact, there was cheating that took place in some capacity by Marceau, allegedly, as to the defensiveness of Letitia that gives it away that there is some truth to something that has taken place, right? And either they've agreed not to discuss it on camera or it's something that they're choosing, you know, whether, whatever the time frame was, if allegedly it did or didn't happen, they don't want to give it life. They don't want to give it a storyline and everything else. And, you know, they don't want to put out there whether or not they're comfortable, you know, if allegedly this is an open marriage, if allegedly. But I ask of you, is it an open marriage if only one party in the marriage wants to basically sleep with other people? Like, is that really an open marriage if only it's benefiting one person in the marriage? Because usually if you want to open up a relationship or open up the marriage, usually it involves both parties partaking in that, right? Whether it is, you know, swinging or both choosing to have their own set of rules on who they hook up with. It, but both people are benefiting in this instance, right? But a lot of the time when pe certain people are requesting for an open marriage, it's usually to benefit one person. And it is usually so that the person can feel like they have their own excuse to cheat on their spouse, you guys. And that is why I don't know if I necessarily would categorize whatever is going on or isn't going on allegedly in this particular couple, um, if it really is to that extent, right? Really, the only thing I can surmise if cheating has or is continuing to take place is that it is known and basically as long as they are not publicly embarrassed or publicly exposed or publicly humiliated and as long as there is no side babies, they are okay as long as you keep it on the low low, right? Because this is allegedly with Martel Holt's side chick exposed, right? That there was allegedly linebackers, you know, that the Scots were entertaining, that they, you know, all rent out, you know, different apartments and Airbnbs, and they all do their dirt there and everything else and so on and so forth, you guys, right? And then, of course, there's been bloggers who have previously exposed that a few different alleged mistresses, right? who basically do not want to come forward because they do not want to get the treatment that Martell's side chick got, right? And 
Also, some of these people have actual real jobs and real careers and may also be married and may also have actual things to lose. So they do not want it exposed either. But I still find it interesting that Marceau gladly exposed at the reunion that he has no issues, you know, receiving naked pictures on his phone from other women. That is that is not his wife, you guys. That, that That's okay, apparently, right? That that's not inappropriate at all, right? And, and, and that's where it's like, okay, you drop little nuggets like this, but then you want to cut people off and, you know, scream over people that you think are going to, quote unquote, expose any alleged affairs, right? Because you've done it to Kiki and you've also done it to Melody Cherie in that you were worried that there was something that they were going to expose that was going to basically prove that the alleged girlfriends, the alleged side chicks or whatever else may be that are going on in your marriage would have some truth to it, right? Because why else are you getting defensive? Why else are you shouting over people who have information, who have intel? And we seem to have, you know, amnesia as far as these are the same people who had no problems, you know, poking the bear and making fun of Melody, Sheree, and Martell and their divorce drama and their cheating drama and use that for their storyline, right? Nobody had an issue then, right? But then when the tables turn, when the microscope is on your couple, when the microscope is on your marriage, now it's a problem. Now it's an issue. Now people get defensive. Now people go on a media tour to slander Melody Cherie. Um, it, it completely ignore anything and everything that Martel has said, right? Because that's quote unquote your friend. But where would Melody Cherie get the information from, right? Right? And you didn't have the same energy for Martel Sidechick. You didn't slander her. You didn't drag her. In fact, you follow her on social media and like and comment on her post to be petty. Make it make sense, you guys. So, so that is what people are, you know, basically deducing from Carlos King, just like they are inferring from Carlos King, you know, whether or not people are fired from the show and everything else based off of recent videos and statements that Carlos King has made, although he's not directly confirmed or denied, you know, whatever is happening with this Love and Marriage Huntsville cast as it stands. But people are basically trying to take out certain things that he is saying to um, make it applicable uh, to other things. But the bottom line is we need to address the treatment of Melody Cherie. That seems to be the biggest elephant in the room, right? We need to, you know, put a muzzle on Melody Cherie's ex and why he is doing the most and why he is acting out of pocket and why he continues to be obsessed with his ex-wife when he has a PR relationship with Sheree and a situation slash entanglement with his other child's baby mama um, of his youngest, that he still focuses all of his time and energy on what Melody Sheree is doing and who she is dating or isn't dating and everything else. He's made it his life mission to try to expose her and try to turn people against her, and it always ends in him getting dragged, right? So what is the point, right? Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Marceau and Letitia allegedly have an open marriage? Do you think that, you know, there is some type of agreement in place so that they can, quote unquote, stay married for the show? What do you guys think in the comments? Please let me know what you guys think. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post the content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.